it's Sunday morning, May 12th, Mother's Day. And, wow, the house looks good. So they're coming back today, this afternoon, to finish the painting, hanging up the new lights. But wow, it looks good. Good morning. It's Monday morning, May 13th, I think. Day after Mother's Day, that I know for sure. Um, it's just, a, just after 8 a.m. sometime. I don't know the exact time. Um, so yeah, wrapping up some Etsy orders and getting them in the mail early so they get picked up today. Uh, still dealing with the contractor on the work on the outside of our house. What do you think of the new color and the new lights? I'll insert a picture of what it used to look like here somewhere. Uh, looks pretty good, I think. Um, anyway, as per usual with any house that we've owned, any contracting job we've ever had done, things don't go smoothly. I don't think they ever do. Uh, there's a few electrical issues and paint touch-ups that are going to be done today. The big thing, of course, is that the contractor broke one of our retractable awnings in the back and didn't say anything and we noticed it last night. Yeah, husband's not pleased. He's pretty PO'd. And he had to help with some of the electrical last night and his back is killing him. So he's at home today, working from home in his PJs. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just, you know, when we decide to do contracting work, on any of the houses we've ever owned. We don't do it lightly because there's always issues. So anyway, that being said, it's a cool-ish morning, a little bit overcast. The birds are singing as you can hear and it's all good. Otherwise, we still have Lily, but she's being picked up at about lunchtime today. And yeah, I'm gonna leave the windows open as long as I can until it gets warm again and we're all good. My dad's coming down to help us with some of the electrical issues and I think when he's here we'll get his opinion on the awning. I have calls into home, the homeowner's insurance and the awning people and I let the contractor know. And I need to go around sometime this morning and um, like they do on TV, blue tape. Um, any painting issues or touch-ups um, that I see that need doing. So, it's my job today. I'll be back. So I blue taped all the issues I have with the paint around the house. My dad's driving down uh, to help me with some electrical that was done incorrectly. And now the only last thing on the list is, well, two things. Waiting for somebody to call me back about what we can or can't do about the awning. And the contractor is supposed to come back and fix all the little blue taped things and also power wash the concrete and hopefully get the paint splotches off. He spilled all over the concrete, so. <sighs> yeah. Meanwhile, I can't focus on anything for more than five minutes. All that being said, the house looks great. So glad we made the change. Now let's just see if we can get the job done uh, and over with before it rains again. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, May 14th, 9.03 a.m. Hello, computer. Thank you very much for helping me with that today. Um, by the way, holding the phone up like this to vlog for you all hurts. I was, um, for quite a bit yesterday, uh, helping my dad do some electrical at our house. Um, he very nicely and my mom came down. Uh, they live a couple hours north of us um, and helped us with some electrical. We're having some work done on the outside outside of the house right now. And um, the contractor, um, while he's very good at some things, is not good with electrical and we won't be having him do electrical anymore. Yeah, we'll either be doing it as a DIY because my dad is a retired electrician um, or we will be hiring one because, yeah, uh, my husband also can do electrical work. So, um, 
anyway, um, I was helping because Bob was working and I was, you know, holding fixtures and um, yeah, so I have a bad back and a bad shoulders, um, which is why I stay home and do art now <coughs> because I can't do what I used to do anymore. Um, yesterday was the first time I did anything like that in a very long time and I'm paying the price for it today. But that being said, it could be worse. <laughs> um, and I do have an appointment to go get my hair done finally today and get the white roots covered up. Um, it's 9.05. We've got all the social media done, the website is updated, um, the design team's blog page is updated, as well as my blog page, which I didn't realize until this morning I hadn't updated since March. I forgot to update it for all of April. Really? Uh, yeah. Anyway, the archives are updated too. I'll link the website and the appropriate pages down below for you all. Um, I've had a website for longer than I've had a YouTube channel. Um, used to be filled with different sorts of things. Uh, when it first started, it was for my day here business and it was full of stuff pertaining for the parents to download as far as menus and things like that and permission slips and all that kind of stuff. Um, then it was knitting and crafting and crafting with the kids and now none of that is on there and it's all mixed media and art related. So yeah, anyway, the pat knitting patterns. If you're one of those people and you're looking for the knitting patterns, but like 20 years later, I'm still getting questions about the knitting patterns. They're all on uh, Ravelry. And I'll try to figure out where they're at and give you all a link in the description below. Um, I was a published machine knit designer in a former incarnation. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, my arm really hurts. I need to put the phone down. I need to go take a nice long hot shower and get myself dressed. I want to run a couple errands before my hair appointment. So, yep. Let's go get it done. All right, the hairs are all fixed. Yay, thank you Cassandra at Mint Beauty Lounge, which is in Beaverton. Holy cow, hold on. Um, I've got our card right here. Let's see. Oh. The card says Portland, Oregon, which if you're from the area, you know that there's a lot of zip codes that the post office just says Portland, Oregon, but it's in the Beaverton area. Anyway, I will link her uh, information in the description below. I would recommend her. She's a really nice girl and she does a great job with my hair. Um, now we're going to go over to Ross and then... Cause I'm looking for a table for the backyard and then we're gonna go to the Japanese grocery store and then we'll go home and have lunch unless I decide to stop somewhere else <laughs> all right that's it for the moment I'll be back so we're at Uajima is that how you pronounce that anyway it is a Japanese grocery store and they have a bookstore slash stationery store inside which seems to be a division of Maido M-A-I-D-O, which I'm familiar with shopping at in San Jose, California, before I moved. So we are going to go check it out. Maybe I can even find some sushi to go for lunch. That would be cool. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I caught a few clips of the bookstore inside the grocery store, and it is similar to um, Mitsua back in San Jose, which was a grocery store which had a bookstore inside of it, which um, the bookstore part of it takes up, takes up about half and the stationary part takes up about the other half. Um, and they have Japanese anime um, gifts and stuffed animals and toys and stuff too. But that being said, this one had a better pen selection than the Watt bookstore in Mitsua. Not quite on par with Mido, I don't think, but it was pretty good. They did not have any white Uniball Signo gel pens. They had every other color except white, which is weird. And there was no slot for it. But they had every color of Jelly Roll. Um, but I didn't buy anything in the bookstore. I did buy a few groceries. I got some rice and I got some sushi for lunch. I got some California rolls and 
that sort of thing. They have a great, seem like they have a great deli section. Um, nice meat department and fish. It won't be someplace I shop at all the time because it's too far from home, but if we're over in the area, I'll be saying to my husband, hey, you know, I want to go to Iwo Jima and let's get some stuff before we go home. That being said, we're going to go home now so I can eat my California rolls. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, May 15th, 8, 11 a.m. Don't get all excited. The iPad's right there. Anyway, um, it's been a stressful, like, 10 days with the construction outside and everything. Uh, we're having the final walkthrough this evening. Thankfully, not this morning. Um, so I don't have to do it with the contractor by myself. The husband's going to be home. Yay. Bonus points for the husband. Um, but I need to head upstairs. I need to edit the vlog, which I'm late again editing. So yeah, that's a thing. So I need to get it edited this morning and then loaded to YouTube. And then I have Etsy orders to package up while that's a rendering or loading or whatever. I also need to finish the artwork part of the two tote bags for um, that I'm painting for a friend. And so they can dry and I can get sealer on them and hopefully get them out in the mail to her uh, by Friday or Saturday, Monday at the latest. Um, I also have my Traveler's Notebook journal to catch up on. I haven't done any of April, much less May. Yeah, so that's a thing. So I guess I better get up and take a shower and get dressed. Get my day started. All right, let's go. Okay, I've got the social media done. I've got some um, posts scheduled out for the month of June in my creative year for my creative words. And I got the Etsy order wrapped up and um, sent out into the mailbox. I guess I, there's no stalling anymore. I've got to edit the vlog. Crud. All right, I guess I better get to it. Good morning, everybody. It is... I almost said Friday. <laughs> it's not Friday, it's Thursday. Thursday morning, it's just after 8 o'clock, 8.09. What day of the date is it? Day of the month? I have no idea. It's May. May? Let's see, wait. Okay, enough stalling. I got all my social media done. YouTube comments replied to. Um, a clear coat on the project I'm working on for a friend and... It's time to go take a shower and actually leave the house and go run my errands. I guess. <laughs> I'd rather just stay home with my pajamas all day. But, you know, shit's not going to get done that way. <sighs> anyway, I have a U uh, YouTube. YouTube order. No, an Etsy order. <laughs> I've got to get out in the mail, too. And most days our mail service comes pretty early here, so I need to get out that, that out in the mail, too. Um either here at the house or probably more likely run over to McCann's and drop it off over there because I can also then check the P.O. box while I'm over there. Oh, let's make sure the door's over here locked before I get in the shower. I like to make sure everything's locked before, you know, I do something like get naked in the shower when I'm home alone. Uh, you know, call me crazy, but it's a thing. All right, I'm gonna get my day going get myself in gear, get myself started. Yeah. We'll see where it leads me. I'll be the mailman's been yet, so I'm gonna try to walk this Etsy order down to the mailbox. Bambi hasn't been to eat yet, so I don't have to fill the bowls. I do notice when it's raining out, uh, the deer don't come by to eat as often. Um, I don't know anything about deer, so I don't know why that is. Anyway, so we can hold off on putting more corn out for the moment. All right, I'll be back. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go to um... <laughs> There's 
just random stuff in the car. Um, I'm gonna go to Fred Meyer. I think I'm gonna go to the one in Tualatin because there's a Home Goods across the street and Michael's and New Seasons Market. Not that I need to go to any of those last two, but I wanna go to Home Goods. I am looking for one more um, table thing to put some potted plants on in the backyard. I have one that I bought years ago. I used to have a, um, a booth at a arts and crafts cooperative type shop. I know you all know what I mean if you've been doing this for a while. You either do shows or you or you have a booth in a shop. <laughs> um, I've, I did both for a while. Uh, now I just do Etsy because um, that's like now we do online things right. Anyway. Um, I would I kept the table even though I had no use for it and I moved it all the way to Oregon still not sure why or at least I wasn't at first turns out it's great on the back patio for the um, some of the pots of vegetables and things I'm growing back there so uh, woohoo but the problem is now I could use another one so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm, I'm on the hunt for it doesn't have to match but I'm on the hunt for something Similar, similarly shaped that's metal that can withstand being outdoors at least for a few seasons before it falls apart I live in the Pacific Northwest so we have harsher conditions than we had in San Jose so yeah so I think I'm going to go to that one this is a long explanation for you know we're going to go run errands I don't know it's rainy and cloudy out today. It's a gray out, but I have my sunglasses because it's the Pacific Northwest. If you live up here, you know it could be rainy and cloudy and still be so glary that you need sunglasses. Is glary a word? It might be a word. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning. It's Friday morning, May 17th. Uh, my father-in-law's birthday. He's no longer with us, but anyway... Today's his birthday. Tomorrow is my wedding anniversary. Anyway, it is 8.30ish in the morning and I'm working on my second cup of coffee. I've already done the social media thing and checked on YouTube and all of that stuff. Went out and fed Bambi, um, pulled my positive affirmation cards. One of my neighbors is coming by today with a lady from the HOA. I made the mistake of mentioning in passing that there's some graffiti on the on the neighbor's wall. Yeah, hang on. But it's Friday and um, caught up with my must do things for the week. I think um, I'm gonna sit down and finish my coffee and watch some YouTube. Husband's working upstairs, it's Friday, so he's working from home. And that means I can't do any conferencing or loading of YouTube videos or anything because it um, interferes with his signal. Well, he thinks it does. I actually think it's his server at work. There's not a big enough server for everybody who works at home on Friday. Anyway, whatever. All right, I'll dish. The food is empty. The other one's still full. So, yeah. But they're eating. They're out there somewhere. All right, I'll blue be tape. Back. Little pieces of blue tape. I think I'm going to be finding them for a while everywhere. Sort of like moving company stickers. That's what happens when you have the outside of your house painted. Anyway, I'm going to go run to <clears throat> McCann's. I need to check on the P.O. box, but I also need to send this um, project I was working on for a friend back to her. I've, I'm done with it, so when it's dry, so I'm going to send it back to her. morning. It's Saturday morning, May 18th. I tried to film this once already and did a crappy job. So there you have it. It is 
um, just before 10 a.m. and we're gonna go down to Habitat for Humanity and donate the light fixtures that you just saw us load in the car um, and run a couple errands. Um, it is our anniversary, 28 years married, 30 something years together. 30, yeah, we met in 1984. September 22nd was our first date. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go do all that and then meet um, our daughter later to pick up her wedding dress and um, see her in that and then we're gonna go celebrate Mother's Day and our anniversary with the kids. We're gonna go out to dinner to McMinimins, which is a local chain and um, I'll link their website in the description below. Some of their restaurants are in historic buildings, so that'll be fun and um, I'll bring you with us where we can. I'll be back. He doesn't really like being on camera, in case you didn't know. Hate it. <laughs> Fred doesn't like it. Fred doesn't like it. So we just left a really nice afternoon. We went with our daughter to pick up her wedding dress, which no, I can't show on camera. You all are going to have to wait like until October. Oh, I can show it on my camera. It's right here. No, no, we're not allowed. We have to wait until after October 3rd, 2020. So um, we're going to be doing some DIY projects coming up for her wedding. We will be showing some of those on the YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we went and did that and she looks is gonna just look she's gonna make a beautiful bride um, And then we um, went out to dinner afterwards. We met some friends of theirs Jenny and Brian and um, we had a very nice dinner at McMinimins uh, and um, What was it Oak something? Oak, Oak Hill? Oak Hill what? Nope, the McMinimins Oak Hill pub? Something like that. Some, Oak some, and something I'll like link that. it below. I don't remember which one it was Small um, pub in Oh, yeah. It's one of the littler ones, but anyway, we had a very nice dinner with them. We did find out at dinner that, contrary to prior conversations, Rebecca and Polly are coming for dinner tomorrow, so I need to go to the grocery store on the way home and get some food, because I don't have enough to feed them, because they told me they weren't coming. So we're going to go get some more food for tomorrow, and we then we're... To, we have to go watch GOT tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow, G the last episode of Game of Thrones is on tomorrow, so... They're coming over to watch it with us and be disappointed by whatever happens because y'all know that's going to be the thing. Everybody's anticipating being disappointed. Honestly, I don't like Game of Thrones because there's never a happy ending. So why would yeah. you expect the last episode to be any different? Um, anyway, so that's been our week. We hope you've had a good one. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube or over in Facebook, um, you can do that a lot of different ways, including buying merch from Teespring. Um, the link for that along with my Etsy shop and the Patreon and a whole bunch of other stuff along with my social media links if you want to follow me on social media are in the description below. Click on the link tree list of links and you'll get a whole list of stuff when you do that. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you uh, want notifications of new videos when they come out. The most important thing of course is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and we'll see you later. Bye guys.